don't do that, delete that, and then try another thing. I did not do that. I just boom install everything and then just crashed my printer. Hello, welcome back to Scratch 3D Printing. This video is recorded a couple days after I rooted the Cable Max problems, but the Cable Max just start arising left and right, left and right. I'll first talk about what the problem is, then I'll talk about how I tried to solve it, and then I will show you the results that I got. Let's scratch today's topic. After I rooted the Cable Max, I did a 300 by 300 by 2 millimeter first layer sheet and this is the results. As you can see here, right after I rooted the Cable Max and install most of the things that are, you know, say that it will improve the quality of the print, adapted first layer, adapted purging, and stuff like that. Basically, it's the camp K A M P. This is what I get for the first layer. Can anybody tell me why or how this is happening? If you, if you see that, right? It's like a blob, extra more, extra less, or something like that. It's basically, I don't, I don't know, I don't know how to explain this. It's like a blob that there's like no filament blob like that I just keep skimming like that I printed it really bad so I try adjusting it and I accidentally move the bed down because when you press the up arrow it goes down when you press the down arrow it goes up which is like doesn't make sense so I try to make the nozzle closer to the bed and as you can see here it started warping or whatever this is called I just started doing like this it's it's not sticking to the bed at first it was far away from the bed and then it got closer and closer and I just do this I don't know why so what did I do to solve this problem well I went back into the SSN for rooting the cable max I uninstall camp and it kind of fixed the first layer a bit after I uninstall camp I went into fusion 360 and model a cube a test cube here and I did another test print to see if it was camp or is it my printer or what happened and it turned out pretty decently as you can see here this is the first layer and it actually prints kind of nice I also did some overhang you can see back here it will provide you the number 10, 20, 30, 40 I can't believe the cable max can actually print at 40 degrees angle which is very nice so I know the ladder here actually shows up pretty well but this thing you can see that on every single layer that it has a change of angle it has this blob in the middle which not quite sure how that even happened there if anybody knows please let me know in the comments down below try to do some of this and then the top layer is actually pretty decent this is the normal configuration on Creality print. Then I did my own profile on the second cube. As you can see there, it actually got worse. You can see that it has so many ringy or ghosting, whatever they are called, on this one. And the overhang is pretty similar. On my profile, it's it printed really badly. I don't know why you what happened. <laughs> and the first layer also, the first layer is not that good. It keeps having these gaps. So I decided to scale up this thing. 250% and I did that and as you can see on this side that has the text you can see that it has these layer shift or whatever they're called ghosting or or ringing or whatever it is it has that on the number when it prints the number overhang is still similar the high side is still pretty good the first layer actually got quite good and the side that has these two wavy thing it actually does not have the blob anymore I don't know how or why the blob disappear which is nice I guess but the top layer is not that good because I didn't do that much infill so it was kind of printing overhanging and it just get these defects there now you might say that oh well you were talking about the first layer being bad but look at that it's actually really good yeah but if you look closely you can see that it's not that good as you can see right here on the F it has this gap there it has a gap all over the T and if you look very closely, it has teeny tiny gaps all over the letters. This is my robot primit. I now use this as a scraper. I can't believe that this is such a good, freaking good scraper. The scraper that came with the K1 Max, the tip was only one layer. So if you scrape something that is really stuck to the bed, that single layer is just going to, you know, rip apart from the scraper. This thing is amazing. Off topic, but if you print something that's very thin and you can't, you cannot bend your build plate to make it pop out 
or you cannot use your fingernail to get off because it's stuck to the back really good you can use this and just you know just slide it boom and you got it it's like uh, now this is officially called my pyramid robot scraper amazing okay back to the first layer topic this was printed before i rooted the cable max and yeah yeah i know this is lifting because i did not extrude enough filament out so it was still stuck with some asa so asa mixed with pla so that's why you got this orange color <laughs> this thing doesn't count but if you can see that right the first layers printed so well even on my logo here as 3dp there's no gap there's like no teeny tiny gap at all but if you look at this it has the gap there it has the gap all over the t all over like everywhere where it has the letter it has teeny tiny gaps and if you look right here right it has these like wrinkle on the chamfer part it has the wrinkle which is really annoying and that leads to the next thing that i was messing around or had a problem with the kill max after i rooted the printer okay before we get any further into the video i'm not saying that rooting the printer is bad um nope rooting the printer is really good it's just that I think I installed way too many items on the printer and I just don't know what is happening. There's like way too many things. It changed all the profiles. Before I didn't know why it purged like a big fat line on the previous video. It was because of Kemp, the ad adapted first layer. And I got rid of that and now it's purging like normal before it starts. But it still, it still does the calibration at the beginning like it shakes on the X and it shakes on the Y axis. It still does that and it homes twice. So that I still need to figure it out. On to the next topic, which is the ringy part. So I went onto Clippers document or their or Clippers website and their documentation about Clipper. And I got this model from them. Uh, it's a, you know, it's a ringy test. Basically, it's a ringy test. As you can see this right here, it basically does these wavy things. When the nozzle come, it goes here in and outward again so that it will create these artifacts that has the ringing so b before i even you know calibrate that or follow their direction i just print this out and it prints really nicely as you can see that there's like they are still ringing like you see the pattern here it follows through like almost all the way but you can't really see on this one because it was printed kind of nice you can see a little bit there but there's not that much after i went back and read their documentation i printed out a new piece and follow exactly what they're telling me to do and now you can see that it's worse <laughs> like what the hell man it's worse you can really really see the ringing now and it's not the color because if you look here well if you look here on the x axis right there's no defect anything right there keep that in mind but if you look on this one it has that defect like it wasn't extruding or it wasn't printing that well here i executed some setting to clipper and it just you know make the ring even worse and i assume that you will tune it from here but <sighs> why do i keep messing with this right but it printed really nicely and now it's printing like this and this leads to the next print i was designing some pokeball so <clears throat> as you can see here the ringing actually show up here really badly. This one right here was another piece of the Pokeball, but it wasn't from me. It was from another creator. I will leave this Pokeball in the description down below. This was way before I even rooted the printer and it prints amazing. There's no ringing here at all. And if you look at my piece after rooting the printer and I did the calibration for this piece, which has the ringing and now translate over to this piece and you can even see back here it translates to that too which is bad and you know there's like many stringy it's very very bad so what did i do i went back into clipper firmware i redid the input shaper so that it gives me a different x and y shaper frequency for x and y and it prints better now like that there's like minimal ringing there you can still see a little bit but if you compare to that if you compare both of them the top one is worse than the bottom one. You recalibrate the shaper and now it actually prints a little bit better. This side prints flawlessly but this side prints really bad. And I did another test print but it failed because the bed is really trash. 
You can't get like 3 to 4 consistent prints without cleaning the bed after and after. But this one, it, the ringing doesn't show that much. It shows, but it's less and less. It's, it's still there, which is really not good at all. And this piece, like the top of the Pokeball, and you can see that this side is just ringing after ringing. And this one. You can see that there are a teeny tiny ringy line right there But it's still so much better than this You can clearly see this You barely see on here Even on the black piece, there's like minimum So let's recap what I did I rooted the camo Max I downloaded everything, <laughs> I didn't know Next time, I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna figure out step by step what I did wrong with the printer Then the first layer cannot print well enough And if anybody know Please tell me, I really want to know why it prints like that. It's like a big blob and then like smaller blob, smaller blob, smaller. Tell me in the comments or explain to me how this even happened. I know how this happened because it's far away from the bed, it's closer to the bed, but still, it should print better when I do the Z offsets. One last comparison. This screw. Can you tell me which one is printed after rooting the cable max and which one is printed before? Right, you are correct. If you say the top one is printed before, that's correct. The bottom one is printed after, that's also correct. That is what I'm talking about. Before rooting the printer, it printed nicely, look at that, it's flawless on the first print, on the first layer. But after rooting the cable max, it just printed trashy like that. I need help. After removing camp, did auto bed leveling, did input shaper, did calibrate everything. It printed a little bit better. It printed a little bit better here. But it's still as not good as before I rooted the cable max. To sum this video up, was rooting the cable max a bad idea? Not at all. It will be in my case because I don't know that much about Clipper at all. It's the first time messing with Clipper using Clipper, seeing Clipper interface here and I was an idiot for installing everything at the first try not going little by little and try if this is wrong don't do that, delete that and then try another thing I did not do that, I just BOOM install everything and then just crash my printer or just make the printer print really badly so if you are doing this if you are designing to root your K1 Max or K1 or any printer just be careful not to install everything like I did and just do step by step do more research online, learn more about clippers and just yeah just just learn more about clipper and just learn more about your printer or maybe maybe if you don't want to mess with anything you just want to print don't do your camo max just keep printing keep printing keep printing I'm this close to unrooting my camo max I don't know how please tell me how you can unroot the camo max but I did some research and they say that you can just you know update to the previous firmware and then just factory reset everything and essentially your printer will go back to normal but i still want to mess with the kill max and i want to mess with clipper because i found clipper's documentation and it's actually really nice but i kind of feel like that is kind of outdated because like I said, they tell you exactly how to you know calibrate this but on the KO Max you can just automatically do it and it will just give you this good results so i don't know but this video has been going on for way too long and yeah just let me know in the comments down below how to fix these things do you encounter these things do you actually enjoy using clipper do you enjoy messing with clipper your 3d printer or you just you know casually printing don't care about rooting don't care about anything just print 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 if it's good just print yeah and anyway thank you for watching the video and sticking with me until the end of the video thank you so much as always, subscribe to the channel, more content are coming. And as always, keep on printing.